Welcome to the Web Design Workbook for Dentists video tutorial series. My name is Dr. David Wank and in this video we are going to go over how to see who owns a domain name and when it expires. Let's assume that I want to register the domain name shorthillsdesign.com. Naturally I already own that domain name but for argument's sake let's say I didn't own the name and I wanted to see number one who if anyone owned that name and two if someone does already own that name when does the name expire so someone else could register it. There are many ways to find out this information and no one way is better than another. Here I'll show you how to do it one way. First, let's navigate to whois.sc. And yes, that's .sc, not .com. In the box that appears, type in the name of the domain that you want to check. In our case, we're going to type in shorthillsdesign.com. And press the look up button. You could have typed in the www it doesn't matter. Now, you can look at the bottom under Registrant and you're going to see David Wank under this Who is Registrant tab. So here is the Who is record and you can see who is David Wank. So now we know who owns this domain name and no surprise, uh, I own that domain name. Now, let's navigate here to the Registration tab. When we click on the Registration tab, we see some other information. We already know that I, David Wank, own the name but let's see what else we can find out. Looking here under the registration tab, we can see uh, that I registered the domain name with GoDaddy.com. You can also see that the domain name expires on October 6, 2014. Now, the last thing that's of interest here, uh, at the very bottom, under where it says General TLDs. Now, not every uh, program or website you use to look up this information has this, but this is one of the neat features that this website has is it will give you a list of similar domain names. See, here are all the Short Hills designs with some other extensions. Now, uh, as you read in the web design workbook for dentists, I don't recommend using .us, info, or biz, or even org for your business, uh, for your practice. And obviously, .com is the way we want to go. Um, but if we hover over here, we see shorthillsdesign.net uh, is registered and there's no website. That's what it tells us here. Um, and actually, for whatever it's worth, I own shorthillsdesign.net. And I registered it not so I could use it as my website, but so I can protect my brand uh, by having the .com and the .net version of my domain name. So, uh, in order to find out this information, all you have to do is go to whois.sc. You go ahead and you type the name into the box, and you navigate uh, between the whois record and the registration record, and that will give you all the information that you're looking for.